What's up guys? I am here for another tour of the southwest area of Las Vegas. Now specifically, we've done a few of these tours. Uh, we've done a tour in Mountain's Edge, which is the far, you know, far southwest corner. Then we've done the western part of southwest, which is basically, if you look at streets in a map, you're looking at Fort Apache and west. We've done a little bit more of the eastern half, which would be if you look at streets Rainbow and East all the way to the 15, we've done there. So this is gonna be kind of that middle road area. This is gonna be Buffalo, between Buffalo and Durango, and stretching quite a bit north throughout the city, as far down as say, Windmill all the way up to Desert Inn is where we're gonna stretch on our tour today. So what our tour is gonna look like, we're gonna look at a couple homes, and right now I am in Desert Breeze Park. This is a massive 240 acre park with athletic fields, parks for kids, water park, a whole bunch of stuff. So what I'll do is in a minute, I'll turn this phone around. So I'm gonna show you this park first, and then we're gonna go take a look at my favorite coffee shop in the area called Madhouse Coffee. Then after that, I'm gonna show you house number one on the tour. It's gonna to be Cordora is the development by Pulte Homes. And that's gonna be around that 650-ish thousand range. It's gonna be a four bedroom, single family home. Then I'm gonna show you one of my favorite restaurants in the area. It's called Firefly. It's a tapas restaurant, absolutely fantastic. After that, we're gonna go look at house number two. It's gonna be a development called Majestic Point by Beezer. It's actually a townhouse. That's gonna be in that lower $400,000 price range. I think the model we're looking at is going to be about 425. And then I'm going to show you my favorite Italian restaurant in the city. It's between this one and another one. This one called Di Agostino's. We're going to take a look at that. And if you guys have any questions at all about, let's say, living in Las Vegas in general, what it's like to move here, uh, as I did eight years ago, I moved from the Los Angeles area and uh or you know just the real estate process in general or any of the house models we're going to be looking at today you can feel free to call text or email me anytime my information is on the screen um go ahead and you know whether you're looking to do something in say two weeks maybe two months heck even if it's two years go ahead and give me a call and contact me whatever is easiest for you and i'll get back to you immediately but all right so without further ado i'm going to go ahead and show you the rest of desert breeze park Right, so I'm going to show you guys this a little bit in phases here. As you can see, we got baseball fields and softball fields all over the place. You got fields here, here, and then you got two more on this side right here. So it's a great place for tournaments and whatnot. Um, a lot of baseball and softball is played in this area. I'll go ahead and uh, show you guys a little bit more of the park area as well. All right, as you can see, um, I zoom in a little bit. You got basketball courts right there and as you go through here what I love about this especially if you got little kids or if you're like me um, and probably not as good of a multitasker as my wife is um, if I have both of my kids it's easy now you got a fenced in little area here for the park which is kind of nice uh, it definitely helps me corral <laughs> my kids a little bit easier um, so that that is nice as far as that goes and then just so you guys kind of know you got a whole bunch of walking trails here uh, but this is uh, just so you guys know to the whereabouts you're gonna be on a side street a smaller side street called Twain which is right in the middle of Flamingo and Desert Inn and you are right off Durango and I'll go ahead and show you where that is on the map and let me show you a couple other cool spots of this park all right as you can see here too you have the Desert Breeze Community Center and Aquatic Center right here so this is where all this place gets jumping in the summertime so you got all these awesome little water slides and then the pool is right there and then they even have the aquatic center if you want to have an indoor pool and as you can kind of see right there you got all the baseball fields over there and then if you actually go across the street um, which is the street of Spring Mountain you actually get into all the soccer fields over there so like I said this is a massive park and you can see even just great views too from here um, looking at the, the Las Vegas Valley you can see basically the Mandalay Bay New York New York right there and then of course you know we've gotten a lot of rain actually which is a rarity here and I'll, I'll zoom in you can see 
all the snow on the mountains uh, from from the area, which is which is not overly common to see that much or have it have the snow be that low. Right. So that was Desert Breeze Park. Um, that was. A lengthy tour, but this is a massive park. Again, I said it was 240 acres. So there's a lot to see, and I kind of just glazed over as much as I could uh, to keep this uh, video time in mind. So next, we're going to go right by here to my favorite coffee shop, Madhouse Coffee. All right, let's go. All right, I am at Madhouse Coffee Shop. So uh, this coffee shop here, uh, pretty cool. It's actually a 24 hour coffee shop. So if you uh, work, kind of goofy hours which is pretty common out here and I don't want to say goofy hours but I mean like graveyard hours uh, second shift or have odd end times to work or something like that um, I have friends that you know went in at like say 1 a.m. or something to work this place is open if you need to grab a cup of coffee if you are not a caffeine person their hot chocolate is phenomenal as well but just so you kind of know what area of town this is this is on a street called durango and desert inn it's going to be your cross streets here um so yeah just in that kind of middle southwest part of the city all right let's take a look at the shop all right as you can see the menu here they got all kinds of cool stuff. And I just saw a sign that they are closed from 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. So I've only known them to be a 24 hour spot, but I guess that just changed. And they do have some pretty cool stuff to eat as well if you're hungry. All right, that was Madhouse Coffee. An excellent coffee shop, very good coffee for this area. Probably one of my favorite, if I'm in this area of the Southwest, this is probably one of my preferred coffee shops, or actually my favorite in this area to stop at. So now that we've seen my favorite coffee shop and one of the coolest parks in this area, now I'm gonna take you to house number one. House number one is gonna be in an area called Cordora. Uh, that is a Pulte development. It's gonna be right around that $650,000 range. It's gonna be a four bedroom, uh, three story single family home. All right, let's go. All right, guys, I am here at house number one of our tour. This is Cordora by Pulte Homes. So if you see me squinting a little bit, it's because the sun just decided to peek out from the cloud and go right in my eyes. So this house we're gonna look at is four bedrooms, two bathrooms, it's a little over 2,600 square feet. Now the starting price on this house is $565,000. With upgrades though, you're probably looking, mm, probably on average like 80,000, so I'd say 75, $80,000. So I would say if you maybe shot for 625 to 650 on average with upgrades, that's probably about the price point you'd be. If you really want to upgrade this house, you're going to be north of 675 on this price point. But uh, as you can see, I'll kind of turn this around. You're about 150 feet away from Buffalo, which is a pretty major street. And then you are about a mile and a quarter away from the freeway entrance, the 215. And just to give you some ideas, uh, the freeway is a couple minutes away. And then if you get on Buffalo there in the 215, you're probably about 12 minutes from the airport, maybe 15 or so, 16 minutes from the strip. And then about 20 or so minutes from like downtown Fremont Street, maybe, maybe give or take a couple minutes. Um, so without further ado, let's take a look at this house. All right, as you can see, here is the community Cordora by Pulte. Uh, this track uh, originally started at like 150 some homes. Now I believe they added a few more. So I think it's like 181 homes total. So it's a decent sized development. You got a, a mix of two story and three story homes ranging from about 2,200 to a little over uh, 3,000 square feet. Uh, basically your three stories are gonna be there. So we're gonna do this one probably last and I'll show you the downstairs. So you kind of have a choice of going up or down. I'm gonna show you this middle part here, this middle floor. And this is gonna really be the center of the house. You got, you know, an office right back here. And I'm just gonna kind of sweep across as we look here. Now, as far as incentives, Poldy is doing 3% towards closing costs if you use their lender. Um, if you decided you wanted to make a move on one of these homes in this community. So you'd be, and that's off the base price. So in this one, you'd be looking at about 16, 17,000. You could use that towards maybe uh, just buying your closing costs, your title fees down, or what most people are doing is they are buying their interest rate down. So as we go through here, 
you got your guest. This is your second bathroom here. And this one is modeled as a three bedroom. So, or excuse me, three bathroom. Just so you know, there's basically a bathroom on each floor. And then here is gonna be, this is a shared bathroom. Here's your two guest bedrooms right here. These are probably about 11 by 12. Not humongous, but decent size. They're probably pretty standard size rooms. That's uh, a full size bed. So just to give you kind of an indicator on the size of the room and just all these upgrades, like that's for sure upgraded Berber carpet. Um, and a lot of this stuff, a lot of these fixtures uh, and everything is upgraded. So just so you know, the model we're most likely looking at, like this office upgrade here, is, is a good amount as well. So we're probably in the higher 600s if you're looking at this model, whereas I'd say the average standard of the house is probably right around closer to the mid 600s, maybe even like lower, like I think 640, 645 seems to be about right. Um, you got a little space here. They decided to put a desk there. I think that's a pretty good creative way to use the space. Maybe like a bookshelf or something, but then you got a really good size primary. So you have this is about, and this is just a guesstimate, probably about a 15 by 18 foot room here. So you do have a, a pretty good um, size primary bedroom. And then as we go through here, you got a good closet. If you wanted to put a dresser in here and, and deck it out a little bit, you could actually make this a pretty awesome little closet. Um, definitely enough room to do so. And you got the double sink there. Got a nice little shower here. Now what I'm starting to see that is not uncommon at all is I'm starting to see these builders are really more and more every day not doing a tub in the primary and making it a larger shower. Doesn't mean they're not doing that, but as you can see, there are stairs. So if you do have a problem with stairs and you know, having a three-story house like this might not be your best choice. If you don't mind stairs, this house is fantastic. Now I'm gonna show you a couple other things. You got the laundry right here. But there is a very, here's a beautiful little living room down here. But now like clearly this is a nice upgrade. Having a bar there with the wine fridge, you got access to the backyard. Um, this landscaping also makes it a little bit more money. Landscaping, as you guys know, when you buy a newer home and you have to start really thinking about doing something cool, it is not cheap. And here's another great little part here. You got the little you know, and you can almost make this, it's not a next gen by any means, but you can almost make this a next gen. You have your basically separate entrance. You get your own little living room, um, everything you need down here aside from needing the kitchen. And then you got this huge, huge bedroom. This one is, I would say a junior primary. This might be like 18 to 20 feet wide, maybe about 13 or 14 foot uh, long. And then you got same double sink. You got the awesome shower there and then you got, Maybe a little bit smaller closet. That's why I would say maybe about pretty close though. So I would say this would probably be more the junior um, and the other one would be the primary, but they're both pretty darn close. So that will conclude our tour right now. All right. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that tour as much as I did. Now, as we look at these houses, this is this is the first house of the order. So we're in this like 650-ish range, I would say. Um, house number two that we're gonna look at a little later uh, is gonna be more in that low 400. It's a townhouse. So if you guys have any questions about these models, living in Las Vegas, uh, what it's like to live or move here, um, or just the real estate process in general or the market, feel free to give me a call, text, or email. Uh, whether you're looking to make a move in two weeks, two months, or even if it's two years, give me a call and I'll get back to you immediately. Um, so that was house number one. Next, we're going to look at one of my favorite restaurants in the area. This is a really, really good tapas restaurant called Firefly. All right, let's go. What's up, guys? I am right here on the corner of Warm Springs and Buffalo at one of my favorite little tapas spots called Firefly. A really, really cool date spot. A lot of small portions, but really fun to kind of just get a whole bunch of different kind of things and try a bunch of stuff out. Uh, let's go take a look inside and at the menu. All right, here it is. Corner of Warm Springs and Buffalo. And as you can see on Wednesdays, they got 50% off wine. If that wasn't a big enough reason. Oh, yeah, no problem. And here's a nice, quaint little restaurant here. Um, cool full bar right there. And uh, 
make sure that you know I'm not just uh, rotting place here. And as you can see here is all of their awesome little cocktails. And here is, oops, they have a lot of really, really cool tapas here. All the cool salads and whatnot. Even the little things like the stuffed dates are brilliant. Oh, the baked goat cheese is really good. And a whole bunch of seafood toppings here too. So, yeah, love this place. All right, that was Firefly. Totally awesome restaurant. So next we're gonna go check out house number two of this tour. This is gonna be a townhouse in an area called Majestic Point by Beezer. And uh, all right, let's go. All right, I'm at house number two here. This is Majestic Point by Beezer. So we're gonna look at a townhouse today. Um, this is gonna be on the lower tier of our affordability uh, measure. Um, so this is gonna be really low 400s. The model we're looking at is gonna be 425, 427,000 um, right along those lines. And that's gonna be a relatively upgraded model. They actually start at 386,000. Um, and then your HOA per month is gonna be $145, which for a townhouse covering the roof and the exterior is not too bad. Um, and then as far as accessibility, guys, we're right here on Russell and Durango. You're about a quarter of a mile from the 215 freeway. You're probably 12 to 15 minutes from the airport, depending on traffic, maybe 15 to 17 minutes from the strip, probably a little over 20 minutes to Fremont Street, like downtown area, um, just to kind of give you an idea of you know where we're located, but you're only about eight to 10 minutes from downtown Summerlin. So really, really, really good accessibility here. Um, so without further ado, let's go take a look. All right, so as you can see, we got the little exterior here. You got the, sorry for the porta potty there, but you got uh, still some construction going on. You do have Nevada Energy right across the way. That's probably about two, 300 feet away. Um, but here's your little community here. Uh, we're gonna look at the Bedford. That is the middle sized townhouse here. Uh, it is 1,371 square feet. It's three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. Now, HOAs for a townhouse is not too bad here. You're only looking about $145 a month. So not really too bad at all, in my opinion. I've seen a lot of communities that you're looking two, $300 because you know your roof is covered. A lot of your exterior is covered here. So this is gonna be your primary bedroom right away as you walk in on the first floor. And this is basically the whole the whole floor is 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 your primary bedroom area. You got your closet there. Obviously, you can add a door there if you want. Now, just to let you know, this doesn't look like the biggest room. This is actually a decent sized room. This is about a 14 by 16 room. Um, it's just this bed is enormous. That is like a super California king. So uh, just to kind of give you uh, a little heads up there. And then you got your sink and this. Now, um, rather standard you know, bathroom, primary bathroom and whatnot. Um, again, at this price point, you know, I think this model is going for about $425,000. Um, your, your, your base price is, or your starting price is three eighty six, dollars depending on what you do with upgrades. In this area in the Southwest, this is actually a fantastic price, um, especially for new construction, um, with home prices and neighboring home prices being a little higher. And then here is your very open floor plan here. You got a great little living room here as it opens into an awesome little island. Now, there is no dining, so that's something to think about. If you are, you know, one that sits at a table, has family dinners, that this might be something you wanna rethink as far as this goes, but the way this plan is, the kitchen is very large. There's a lot of cabinet space for this size home. And then here, Looks like the shower curtain fell down a little bit. You got your second bathroom right there. And then these rooms are about 10 by 12. Um, you know, pretty standard average size. Got great mountain views now. There's, there's townhouses getting built right there. So this view, hopefully Nevada Power will be blocked. <laughs> but as you can see, we've got some snow on the mountains there. I don't know that you would keep this view. Depending on what gets built across the street, you may not actually get to keep this view. Uh, I can't I can't confirm or deny that you would. And it looks like they made this little area an extra office. Um, and then just so you know too, with incentives here, they're offering up to $20,000 either to add an upgrades 
or you can buy your interest rate down. Now at the current price here, $17,000 probably roughly buys you close to a point and a quarter or a point and a half. So if you, you know, are putting 20% down, uh, you're probably looking at getting into the fives for your interest rate. Uh, they also have two one buy down programs and whatnot. So that will conclude the tour of this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that tour as much as I did. That is gonna conclude the house portion of this neighborhood tour. Um, so if you guys do have any questions, by the way, about any of these models or just real estate in general or what it's like to live in Las Vegas, if you're looking to make a move or anything, whether it be soon, like two weeks, two months from now, or even if it's a ways away, like two years from now, feel free to reach out. Uh, I'll put my information on the screen. You can call, text, or email me, and I'll get back to you immediately. Um, but other than that, let's go take a look at my favorite Italian restaurant in all of Las Vegas. That is the next part of our tour. All right, let's go. All right, guys, and now uh, for the final stop in this neighborhood tour. Guys, this is my favorite Italian restaurant in all of Las Vegas. This is D'Agostino's Trattoria. So this is, in my opinion, the top place and food in the city. All right, let's go take a look. All right, as you enter in here, here is D'Agostino's. This is a nice, quaint little spot, but this place, I will tell you, is packed by like 5.30. All right, and then here is an example of some of their appetizers right here. They have great salads and the pasta entrees, and it may sound a little bit boring, but I'm telling you, the bolognese is literally my favorite thing. I almost like can't deviate from the bolognese because it is fantastic. They also make from scratch tiramisu if you're a dessert person it is absolutely awesome all right that will conclude our tour of d agostinos so now that you guys have seen everything and that that's going to wrap up our neighborhood tour if you guys have any questions regarding living in las vegas in any way moving the real estate process or just questions about any of the builds we looked at today or the houses um, feel free to reach out by calling, texting, emailing, whatever is best mode of communication for you. Whether you're looking to do something in two weeks, two months, or even if it's two years from now, uh, go ahead and give me a ring and I'll get back to you immediately. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this neighborhood tour as much as I did. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks.